I am Ruth um, Vera. I run a catering business called Ruth Super Kitchen. It was established in 2016, mainly to cater for events. I've always been passionate ab uh, about cooking, something that I thought I'll do part-time while I'm working, but then I realized that I wanted to focus more on my role as a parent where I'm a full-time looking after my kids. So having a my own business gave me that flexibility. I was mainly doing events, which was really good until the pandemic. It was a big hit, you know, post pandemic. I realized that people embraced the smaller numbers. But one of the interesting things we did during the pandemic was that we were providing frozen meals to the key workers, to the homeless. Now the interest coming to the incubator was that there was a new business idea. So I needed to come on board so that I can learn from others, understand how that aspect can work and how as a business I can shift from business to consumer to business to business. During the process, I began to understand more I began to learn a lot. Each session we had different people coming to speak to us and it was mind-blowing. I learned a lot. It was more than what I bargained for. <laughs> so, One of the sessions that really stood out for me was uh, a person who's in business just like mine, who started from their own home kitchen just like I, I have done. I felt so I don't know whether I should say reassured, because sometimes you think you're limited to that space. But as a person of faith, God is in this business with me. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but trusting God that, you know, if we submit our plans to Him, He will direct our path. So in that moment, I felt like, you know, yes, I've been directed here just to learn from another sister who has been on that journey. They were talking about where I want to go, and I was truly inspired. Uh, I remember in that session, they're like, whoever can connect with me, I'll give them a one-to-one -one session, but do it at home. I was so naughty. I, they said we should do it after the session, but I didn't straight away <laughs> because I couldn't wait to have a one-to-one -one with her. Having faith-filled people in the session, not only the mentors but other cohorts, it's just so because we have a group and people you can just connect with and say, pray with me, I'm struggling with this. How are you finding this? You don't feel alone because being an entrepreneur, it can feel lonely. You feel like maybe you're the only person struggling. You feel like you're the only person maybe not understanding certain things. But when we're together, it's been very good. And for the mentors as well, it's not like we have to wait until we meet in the next session. They just a phone call away or an email away. It's like, can I have a chat? I'm struggling. And they've just been available, not just to hear you, but to stand on the word of God about what we are believing for. The program has helped me to have more understanding. So I'm at that point now at the end of the program to realize that I'm in the right direction and I have full understanding of what is required. It's like I'm going somewhere and I don't know which direction to take. Now I know like I've just put a postcode, I know this is where I need to go. I would say go for it. You can never stop learning. You can never stop growing. You can never stop believing in God for every step you're taking. It's something that I would encourage everyone who, who is thinking of doing it just to give it a go and they will never look back because I'm not looking back. <laughs>